What's up you guys, it's Adana. welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to make this video because you guys, I've been doing consultation sessions for the past couple weeks um, here and there. I do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this question has kind of been popping up into my mind. Like, so we're doing consultation sessions to help prepare you for PA school and the interview and the application process and all of that. And in my head, I'm like, so, are PA schools even accepting applications still? With all of these school closings and temporary closings and going online things happening, what does that mean for my pre-PA brothers and sisters, right? So that's what I'm making this video for you all for today. So like I said, I've been doing consultation sessions and if you would like your consultation session, please go on over to my website, Adam on the PA dot com for your instructions on how you can secure your consultation session today but i've been doing them and this question has popped up for me like what does that mean for pre-pas in terms of this pandemic and schools doing online versions of schooling um, and information like that and so i wanted to look it up um, because you know cas was supposed to open up very soon and i wasn't even sure about that like was cas was still going to accept applications so I wanted to do a little research for you guys and bring you this video. Trusty internet, of course, right? And I looked up some of this information. So when you go to CASPA's website, and I will leave um, all of like this website and stuff in the description box below. You can see it on the screen as well, right here. But um, if you, for whatever reason, maybe it's too small or something for you, I will leave that in the description box below. But I went to their website and as with pretty much every other website that is like on in the world today, um, it's giving you updates on their like coronavirus, um, COVID-19 instructions or how it's affecting like how they're doing business or work or whatever the case may be. So it's right on the main screen when you go to Casper's website and you just click here and it takes you to their frequently asked questions. So in their frequently asked questions, they're answering things like, hey, are my transcripts still gonna be verified? Um, are my, uh, is my application gonna be verified? You know, are all of my foreign courses gonna be verified? Like, what does that process look like? And so they did give us some information like right at the top, let me go back to the top, where it talks about the fact that, hey, you know, like for the safety of our staff, um, we've actually like cut back on the amount of people that are like working currently, but we're still going to verify all of the things that we need to verify, it just might be done at a slower pace. So that is an indicator to you all, first and foremost, to ensure that you get your applications in like extremely early because, hey, they're still verifying, but it's gonna be done at a slower pace than it's already done. And they already tell you that it takes anywhere from one to three weeks to get your application verified once that whole process has been completed. So um, just bear in mind and keep that in mind that uh, with this pandemic happening and COVID-19 like causing a lot of really like kind of work from home or layoff situations, uh, it's important to make sure that you are actually like looking at the programs um, that you're interested in, looking at their deadlines, and also going in and making sure that you have everything done at a, in a timely fashion, a more timely fashion than you uh, were thinking of doing before because uh, it might slow down how your application is processed. So that is what the information you can find on CASPA's website. Really anything CASPA related. So like how CASPA is dealing with this. Nothing with respect to the school. So even when they ask like what, uh, I think there's a question here that says, what happens if the school I attend is closed and cannot send my transcript? So it says most institutions are posting COVID-19 updates on their websites, which I uh, alluded to. Visit your institution's website for more information and or guidance on changes to their process. So with that being said, let's say like you were currently in undergrad and your program is now 
close for the semester, you have like an extended spring break and they're trying to figure out like how this online learning is going to work. You just have to really stay vigilant on that because with respect to like transcripts requests and things like that, if your school didn't have an online service like parchment, then you now have to like try to figure out how exactly you're gonna get your transcript, right? And obviously, hopefully they would put something like that in place for you, but that is just something that you yourself have to take the initiative on and be vigilant and like calling the program or emailing um, program directors um, at your school, your undergraduate school, uh, to see exactly, hey, like how would I go about getting my transcript because I still wanna apply to PA school. Because this COVID-19 should not end your life, right? It should not stop what you're doing um, in terms of the plans that you're planning for your future. Uh, it just alters it a little. And so for that, like you have to actually kind of just move with the times. With that being said, I wanted to also look at like the participating programs. And so now when I go to um, all of the participating programs that CASPA has, like they're still gonna have those lists of schools and when their deadlines were. So this is from 2019 to 2020. So this was if you were applying in the CASPA cycle last year. And so since CASPA does not open up again until the end of April um, and for all intents and purposes they're saying that everything is running like smoothly I guess you could say like it's running on par with what they're expecting with respect to um, dealing with the pandemic so they're still going to have participating programs so therefore it's important for you to go to their uh, help section and look at their participating programs when they open up uh, in April to see exactly what programs are are saying, like what per programs are participating with CASPA and how, you know, get the information there from that. So for instance, you know, we have all these different like Bethel, Bryant um, universities. And so I wanted to actually look at maybe three or so programs to see what their particular um, schools are saying for the COVID-19 application cycle, like what, what are schools saying? Because that's really where you're gonna get your information. Okay, so let's go to Case Western Reserve. Um, and then I think I'll go to Cornell and I think I'll just go to like Anne Arundel or something like that, community college. Okay, so let's go to Case Western Reserve. So. Case Luster. Like my singing, you guys like that little Luster. <laughs> Reserve University PA program. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what they're saying. Um. So let's go to frequently asked admissions questions. I don't see anything about COVID-19. So it's saying that their application deadline is November 1st, 2020. It doesn't really have any updates on like what that means with respect to COVID-19. Um, clearly, obviously, they're still going to be accepting applications. Um, they do require the GRE. And so that is another thing, you know, that I actually wanted to touch on. So um, this school requires the GRE, uh, but right now there are tons of postponements for standardized exams that are taken at like the pro metric centers. Um, so that is something that you also need to deal with. Uh, but right now, like, let's just continue going out through this. There's nothing, there's nothing here. Um, there's nothing here with respect to uh, COVID-19 or what does that mean for this particular PA program. So clearly, they're still accepting applications. But let me just show, show you all this thing, okay? So when I went to ETS, um, is website, which is ETS.org, You when you go in, it talks about all of the testing updates due to COVID-19. And so it has here listed test postponements by region. Um, and this was updated just this past Friday, or actually, what day was that? Just this past Saturday. So when you go to GRE postponements, you can see exactly like what areas um, there are doing rescheduling and postponements you can call. 
um, and it's talking about like countrywide postponements in Amer in the Americas. So like it goes through and tells you all of the different countries, which is important for you to know. So this is a website that you should be keeping like close tabs on because if you had a test scheduled but the center was closed due to COVID-19 concerns, now again that's affecting like how you're going to be applying. That affects like okay, so can I now send my application to CASPA to still be verified and not have my GRE score? Like what does that mean? And so this landscape is constantly shifting you guys it's very very like you know unknown charted territory um, and so uh, it's important again it's important for you guys to just stay vigilant so that is like my main takeaway please stay vigilant look at these websites go to the schools that you're really interested in and look at their websites right um, I said I wanted to go to Anne Arundel Community College so let's go to Anne Arundel and Arundel Community College. Um, let's go to their PA program. PA program. All right. So I don't see anything here either about their COVID-19. So they're saying, again, like this is all stuff. I'm not really sure when this was updated, but it says uh, the 2020-2021 application cycle will open through CASPA in April, which many of you are already aware of. Um, so again, they're still accepting applications. But since we have no idea how long this process of like staying in place or lockdown might take or how long it might go uh maybe they're working on implementing like you know online interviews um not really sure because they're not saying anything again because it's so fresh and so new uh but they don't have anything on their website and what did i say the next one was it did i already go to cornell you guys No, I went to Case Western. All right, so, and I said Cornell, right? So Cornell University PA program. And now, you know, um, New York is actually being hit really, really hard by uh, COVID-19. So, you know, hopefully we'll see something here um, with respect to that. All right, so again, the PA program, let's visit the website. So it has an overview, um, accreditation. So again, everything is just kind of like the same, you know, um, applying through CASPA. Let's go to like, what's their main website? Let's see if they have any updates for COVID-19 there, okay? So what you need to know about coronavirus, for information about COVID-19. So it doesn't really have anything specifically with respect to the program. And so, and that's like the hard part, right? And so I just kind of wanted to show you guys this because I think that it's important that you guys start planning now. But that is really like the hard part. We're here, we're looking at these schools. I just picked three random schools to see what they were saying, and there's no information there. Now, maybe it's because I'm on my cell phone. Maybe we should check on the desktop version to see if that shows something differently. But it is important to be informed and have that information available to you because we have no idea, how, like I said, how long this is going to last and what that means for you and your application going forward. Clearly, schools are still trying to accept students, um, you know, because we're going to need more healthcare professionals. So it's important for you to still prepare yourself and apply. However, what that whole application cycle is going to look like is completely different than anything that it's looked like before in the past. Um, and possibly what you're learning might look like might be completely different because if we now all have to go to an online version in terms of learning for the foreseeable future, like maybe for, till the end of the year, um, till every, the curve is flattened uh, and they have a really good handle on this virus, 
then what does that look like? You know, what does that mean? Are you like moving to the place? Are you staying at home, but yet still going online? So those are things that you have to consider. Those are things that you have to be aware of. And those are things that you have to plan for. So in this whole process, while you guys are still trying to figure things out, please do not get lazy. Do not sit at home and think, oh, okay, well, you know, I shouldn't prepare. I shouldn't be like practicing my uh, interview questions because they're not even going to be doing interviews like that anymore because you're going to be sorely mistaken when, you know, There are people that are getting interviews or people applying, getting accepted to PA school and their interviews were on like an online version. Uh, They had several questions being asked to them by several different professors. Um, Or there are specific outlines that each school is saying for how to apply to their program now that uh, this pandemic has hit and you did not pay attention to that. So please, if you take anything away from this, be vigilant. Uh, keep yourself aware of everything that's happening with respect to the pre-PA, PA school landscape. Make sure that you pay attention to ETS's website for all of the GRE changes. Make sure that you also look at CASPA's website to see exactly when they're opening their application cycle and what that means with respect to sending in all of your information and getting everything verified. Also make sure that you choose your schools wisely and you look at those programs and see what they're specifically saying on how to apply to their programs with respect to all of the changes in the application landscape due to this pandemic. All right, so those are three things that you can do that will help you tremendously. I hope this video was informative and helped you guys. It was just something that I was thinking about. Again, if you are interested in consultation sessions with me, please go to adonapa.com to secure your session with me today. I do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and so you just have to follow the instructions on how to do that. Um, If you haven't already done so, like this video, follow me on Instagram at Adana PA, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!